cheerleaders of the week, the dance team from Malden. The Mavettes, their cheerleaders are further down, but up in a raised area in the stands. But the Malden Mavettes doing a great job tonight, each and every week, cheering on their team, our cheerleaders of the week. Welcome back. You got to go back to 2000, the last time the Clinton Red Devils started a season 8 0, but that was sitting there for them tonight as they took on the Woodruff Wolverines. Rivals get together. Big early lead for the Devils. Bryant Whiteside going to go into the end zone for Woodruff, makes it a 33 20 game. Clinton up by 13. On the final play of the first half, Bryce Young to Justin Copeland makes it 39 20, going into halftime. Clinton. And then the Devils, who were trying to make it six of the last eight against the Wolverines, Bryson James with the TD, and Clinton rolls on 8 0. Corey Fountain just continues to have his team cruise along in Region 4 3A. Chester and Emerald in the region at the home of the Vikings and Key Holloway going to look for Ian Ryans. Later on, Jalen Foster doing some running for the purple clad Vikings, but the Cyclones too much. They stay unbeaten in the region with a big showdown against Clinton ahead. Show you the final as Chester goes into the Lakelands and comes away with a 20 point win. Chapman in region 3-3A trying to go to 2-0 and, oh, and they do. They make it eight straight wins against Travelers Rest with a 53-13 triumph. Also in region 3-3A, they dedicated the stadium at Blue Ridge this evening to their former head coach Jim Howard. He did great work there and also was a head coach at Travelers Rest. And the Tigers opening possession, Tucker Massey connecting with Brody Fowler. Breaks tackles, gets the first down, the drive stalled. Later on, Quentin Rice, though, on a screenplay, 55 yards for a Tiger touchdown. And in the end, Blue Ridge cruises past Carolina, 42 to 6. Landerman Abbeville in Region 1-2A. Battle of 2-0 teams in the region. Landerman trying to spring a big upset. Altavius Patterson getting in on the fun. And then eventually, Zay Rayford going to take it into the end zone. Joe Lewis Haddon added a score for the Panthers. First meeting between the Cards and the Panthers since 2011, and Abbeville, which has been holding teams to about two touchdowns a game, gets another shutout. 48 0 is the final. Elsewhere in the region, Liberty in 96. As the Wildcats were trying to get to 5 and 3 overall and 2 and 1, and trying to make it 9 out of 10. That's a touchdown for 96 by Ladarius Waltrip from Braden Mitchell. Peyton Reed on the TD run for Liberty, but 96 had too much. They win 28 to 21. Mitchell and Waldrop later getting together for the Wildcats who get win number five on the year. Chesney and Blacksburg, a couple of teams looking for the first win of the year at the home of the Wildcats. KJ Proctor gonna throw it, gonna be picked off by Tracy Smith of Blacksburg. Nice defensive play later on. Hayden Webb for the first down for Chesney and the Eagles get into the win column. Their first ever 0-7 start comes to an end 28 to 25 where Shoals went to Calhoun Falls Charter and wins decisively against the Flashes. Mountain Foothills 7 Chase trying to stay unbeaten. Polk trying to make it eight wins in the past 10 against the Trojans and Angus Weaver gives the visitors a 21 14 advantage. Late in the first half back comes Jalen Rudisil. That'll be a 60 yard run. Brennan Austin later goes 50 yards on a TD run and Chase able to rally for the victory. They knock off Polk County 49 to 27. West Henderson stays unbeaten. North Henderson protects the home field. They knock off East and RS Central with the win at East Rutherford. Coming up next, our plays of the week as the high school red zone rolls on.